Hey everyone, this is Sal Congeloso from Geek.com and I'm here with the Lenovo ThinkPad T410, the Seagate Black Armor PS110 Portable Drive a USB 3.0 performance kit. It's basically a USB 3.0 external hard drive when and the kit to make it compatible with, uh, with a laptop. The uh, T410, as you probably know, does not have USB 3.0 built in for that. You needed to get the W510 or you'll have to wait until next year. But using a kit like the one provided with the PS110, we can get USB 3.0 speed on a uh, uh, 2010 laptop that doesn't have USB 3.0 obviously. Anyway, so I just wanted to run through a quick demo of, of the setup. Uh, what I already did off camera is you uh, you can plug in your your external hard drive to a standard USB slot, and because you, USB 3.0 is uh, backwards compatible, it, uh, this will act as a USB 2.0 drive. You just can't get the full speed. So you plug it in, and what you have to do is install the the drivers for USB to 3.0 and the host controller, which is uh, this PC card adapter. So once the drivers are installed, now we're ready to get going. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pop it into our card slot. You'll see the light goes on, computer will beep, Windows will recognize the device. Next thing we need to do is we need to get this extra cord here, and this is just a, a USB connection. and we're going to provide power. So now that uh, the light right here goes from green to red, and we know we're ready. I mean from uh, red to green, and we know we're ready. So now we're going to plug in the USB 3.0 drive to the card reader, I mean to the adapter there. Just zoom in, and that's our setup. USB power to the, to the uh, adapter, the adapter to our hard drive. The drive, you see the light is on. Yeah. Anyway, so now uh, Windows is going. It recognizes the black armor as a normal drive. It doesn't say anything special. It doesn't say like super fast USB 3.0 drive or anything like that. It just looks like a normal drive. So let's uh, do a quick test of that now that we've got everything loaded up. And we'll see if we could uh, get some good transfer speeds out of that. I'm just using a pretty standard uh, hard drive speed program right here. Zoom in. Test is started. And... Uh, Let this crank for a second or two. Okay, we won't run through the whole test, but I think we get the point. Uh, what we see is a maximum speed of about 65 megabytes per second, uh, average around, I don't know, 60, 63, 64, something like that. So, uh, pretty solid. And that, again, that's megabytes, not megabits. So, uh, let's disconnect this, plug it into USB 2.0, and see what happens. Stop the test. Close the program. Oh, come on. And I'm just going to plug this into our just a standard USB port. Computer has four of them.
Windows is kind of figure out what's going on now. And yeah, we're back. It says D drive, uh, so it recognizes it's the same Black Armor drive. And uh, again, it doesn't say anything special about USB 2.0 mode. But if we dug around in the device manager, we would see. So now we're going to go back to our program. And let's get going with the D drive there. Start. And we'll let this run for a little bit and see what happens. Okay, again, we won't run through this, which is starting to get a little bit long. But uh, right now we are seeing a, you know, a maximum speed of about 28.6 megabytes per second and a minimum of 26.1. Again, megabytes, not megabits. So, yeah, this is just one test. Obviously, it's not a real-life transfer test. I'm using a, uh, a utility here. And uh, you know, it'd be better to do a, a transfer test and with real life files and all sorts of things like that and whatever program you like to use. But the point is that uh, we're seeing real life performance gains or something like real life performance gains out of the move to USB 3.0 instead of 2.0. And uh, to do that, we don't even have to have a new laptop or a USB 3.0 port. So yeah, it's the... Uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T410 and the Seagate Black Armor PS110 Performance Kit. Uh, and make sure you buy the, if you need 3.0, you buy the Performance Kit because there is a 2.0, USB 2.0 variant of the PS110 out there. This is Sal Gonzalez from Geek.com. Thanks for watching.